afraid of dying. How do you know? You've never tried it before. Children of the night. What music they make. I would die for her. I would kill for her. Either way, we bliss. I see you shiver with air of discipline. Welcome to Fright Night. What the fright time? Oh, still vulgar. So, you are something you can't take off. You're talking about him as if he were a human being. That part of him died years ago. Death. There are no accidents, no coincidences, no mishaps, and no escapes. Such sights to show you. people it is tuesday not monday it's tuesday uh no monday show this week but which means you know we're, we're gonna have some fan film slash horror shorts with me as always on tuesdays my buddy michael the movies and beyond how you doing bro good man doing good excited to check these movies out tonight yeah me too me too as i said we didn't have a show yesterday you had you've had a busy busy past week man you, you surviving? You make it? Yeah, I'm, here I am. Here I am. I've made it. I'm still alive. Good, good. I'm, I'm glad you are. Uh, I have been busy as well, man. Uh, not, not as busy on YouTube, but uh, first of all, for everyone who was wondering about the silly stream on uh, first, it was Sunday. Sunday, I celebrated uh, my fiance's birthday. Uh, it was a pretty fun day with her. Yesterday, I was going to have a makeup stream, but I am just, I, I've got a couple projects coming up that I can't really talk about at the moment, but just preparation for those projects have kind of had me swamped. So that's why there was no silly stream yesterday. Likely, actually, I already know there's not going to be a silly stream this Sunday either because of one of the projects. So fortunately, um, unfortunately, no silly streams last week or this week or this coming week, but we got some fan films or, or horror shorts. They're not none of them are fan films tonight. These are all originals, but I'm excited about them. Hell yeah. Um first, let's and just to address this first and foremost, um something is up with YouTube. I do see y'all's comments. Uh like YouTube is not reporting how many people are actually watching. According to what I see right here, it's zero. However, I, I see people actively in the chat, so I know that's not true. Um if something does happen with the stream, you know, if we go down or anything like that, um, sorry, we'll, we'll try to make one up, uh, it, you know, when we can. But, uh, yeah, something's definitely going on with YouTube right now. I looked and I tried. It took me like two times even to get to my my channel to to see what was happening. And so I, I just refreshed YouTube and now all my subscriptions have shown back up. OK, does it seem like it's working? But, yeah, my subscriptions are showing up there, too. So okay, so it wouldn't. Now mm. it looks like whatever the fuck's going on, they're they're trying to get it together here. Looks like they might have got their shit straight. All right, cool. Yeah. 
bro, I heard a question before before I jump into the chat because I want to pose this question to the chat as well. This is something I heard. Uh, it's kind of a, a would you rather mm-hmm. either survive four days trying to stay awake to evade Freddy Krueger, four days in the sewers with Pennywise, or four days in a mansion with Jason trying to evade him. Why has it got to be a mansion for Jason? Why can't it be Camp Crystal Lake? I, I don't know. That's the <laughs> that's the question that would that was posed. So I'm gonna pose that to you and the chat. Let me know no, what you, you think I, about the chat. You're not putting me in a mansion. A mansion I can't leave. Correct. You cannot leave yeah, during that's those. Four not nights. happening, dude. Because I'm dead. There's no way I'm living four days. There's not enough rooms to to. I, I mean, mansions. It's a neat, You know, no. mansion is a broad term. Like a mansion can have several different wings. I mean, you can have different. Dude, he's he's gonna kill me. Uh, sewers, there's With poo in there, man. Um, I'm gonna try to stay awake. Uh, for four days, I'm gonna do uh, binge watch some movies, drink some coffee. Uh, I I'm definitely not. No, I'm not mansioning it with Jason or or hanging out in the sewers. It's no. Depends on the prep time. That's another thing I want to establish beforehand. <laughs> if you give me prep time, staying awake for four days would be easy. Freaking Batman over here. Like, I'm like no, I'm Batman have prep like, time? Like, it's just like, okay, you got to stay awake for four days to try to evade Freddy Krueger. What happens if you've already, like, when it starts, you you had just already stayed up, like, two days in a row? Well, dude, then I fail. You know, like, not saying I'm going to get out of any of these, but that, I, I feel like that's my best bet is, is trying to stay awake. You see, I'm saying for me, honestly, I'm gonna say mansion with Jason. Good luck to you, buddy. Like, yeah. Anyways, let's let's see who's in the chat, and I will get to your comments in reference to that question as well. Um, Jerry Wilson's in the chat saying, "Let's get it. Please demolish that thumbs up button." Thank you, Jerry. Glad to see you in here, man. Jerry's just saying, "Knock, knock, bro." That was like two or uh, twenty minutes before the stream was supposed to start. So, hello, I guess. Come in. Who's there? Paula Fitzhenry. How's it going, Paula? Thanks for jumping in. Ma- Melissa changed her name to Wild Card. Oh, yeah. you remember that? I, I I hadn't seen that. I haven't done a live since since last Sunday or last Tuesday. So I, I hadn't seen it yet. But that's awesome. Melissa yeah. Wild Card. I like that. Uh, and she's saying that YouTube's down. Yeah, I, it seems to be this got to fix. Knock on wood. And I'm also starting to see subscribe or the the viewer count go up too. So maybe they're reporting properly now. Uh, Sarah Campbell's in the chat. What's up, Sarah? We were just talking about Tim Hortons previously because I'm going to be going to uh, Ohio, which apparently there are some Tim Hortons there. So I'm going to be trying their donuts. Uh, more, yeah, more more talk about the. Uh, Talk about the YouTube uh, technical issues. I think it's sorted. I think it's uh, left here. It said Eric Kurt has typed in the stream to come in. Yeah, it's it's been weird, but I think we're good. Uh, YouTube Michelle saying YouTube is garbage. She's not lying. It's you know it's not the best. Uh, anyone else did I miss? Uh, Sarah saying Knight was able to stream, but he started before it went down. So who knows? Dominic St. Clair, what's going on, buddy? Thanks for jumping in tonight. Uh, I think that might, oh, Sarah's saying, don't forget to subscribe to Silver Screen Banter. Your boy is late on getting that 10th episode posted, but it's going to be there. I promise it's going to be there. I am, I am quite late with it, but it's going to be up. Um, let's see. Anyway, Clayton from Asia's of film. He did a, man, he did an episode the other day that I was supposed to be on on Sunday. I really hate that I had to miss because it was top 10 movies of the 90s. A horror oh, movies yeah. in the 90s. I'm like, oh, I've just I've been prepping with the My Life and Horror series, bro. Like, I I my list would have been ready to go. We also just did a video on a movie I consider to be like a top 10 movie of all time, with Tombstone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So what's going on, Clay? Thanks for jumping in, man. Um, if you gotta work tonight, I hope you have a nice safe work at night, uh, safe night at work. Let's see, we got Denisha, what's up, Denisha? Thanks for jumping in. Uh, Sarah's saying mansion with Jason. See, I I agree because like Freddy, borderline mythological. 
or, or not mythological, but like supernatural. Pennywise hey, is man. supernatural. I even if you fall asleep, dude, not everybody dies their first time was Freddy. So I'm taking a chance. Hey, that's that's fine. I mean, I, I've had sleep deprivation training in the military. I I no. Yeah, that's that's my it, it pennywise is just not an option, dude. Oh, no, if I step in shit down there, dude, like it's over. Like I'm gonna be looking for him to just kill me because <laughs> like, get it over with. Yeah, man. like dude, I fell. Like this, yeah, this is crap on me. I'm in the sewer. Just end it. <laughs> uh Sarah's saying after three nights you start to hallucinate. No thanks. Yep, that's fair. Um hold on a second. Where I think there's someone Mr. Rick jumping in. How you doing, Mr. Rick? Got to got to finally see Mr. Not in person, but see Mr. Rick on your uh, your stream the other night when we did a watch along of uh, Friday Part Four. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. He joined us over on your Patreon. Oh yeah. Uh, did I miss anyone else? I think that is everyone. Did you get Russell? I saw Russell in the chat. Did I miss her? Oh, there he is. What's going on, Russell? What's up, everyone? Smash that like button. Hope everyone is having a wonderful night. Happy Fan Film Tuesday. YouTube was down. It was. I think we're good now, though. I think we are good now. Um, all right, man. Like I said, these are going to be originals uh, tonight in their shorts. Where I, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, taking these these times where the uh, the schedule has shifted. Which did you want to maybe bring that up? Since it's going to be pretty quick, the the schedule change going back for I'm sorry I'm kind for of the lost. streams oh. for the the fan film streams like nine we, o'clock yeah 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 okay yeah. so so starting not next week but the week after the fan film streams will be returning to the previous time but not really because we're going to be moving back to nine p.m. We're meeting in the middle. Yeah, yeah, because you were initially at 8 p.m. Yeah. And then you moved back to 10. And I, I think I was actually initially at 9. You myself, were at 9. And I moved yes. back to 10. But I think we're, we're going to settle in, not next week, like I said, but the week after, we are going to be selling both Monday and Tuesdays at uh, 9 p.m. So we'll have a more steady stream, a more steady time at that. And I'll, it'll give us more time to, like, hang out. Because right now, with the, the way the schedule is kind of hectic, it's – Kind of me jumping on quickly, and then I got got to end it pretty pretty quick to get to work. So that'll be nice. It'll give us some more time to uh, to hang out, relax, enjoy uh, enjoy the films. So yeah, Sarah saying waiting for Clayton to drop the Tucker and Dale feed. Tucker and Dale is man, that's a such it's my a favorite good. horror comedy of all time. It's so good, dude. Yeah, it's so good. I. I cannot get enough of them. And Tyler Labine was such a cool dude too. He was at Scarefest last year. He was. Um, I would love to meet Alan Tudyk, but that dude is just so busy. He does so many things. Yeah. He's in like everything. Um. Yes, that will be 9 p.m. EST. So that's essentially one hour earlier than we have been these these past few weeks. So. Yeah. Uh, let me go ahead and start getting these. Have you seen any of these yet? Uh, I have not seen any of these. No. Okay. Um, they just all kind of, you know, I, I go about my, my normal vetting method of like, when I search, I, I search by, uh, I usually search, uh, you know, between four to 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I like to. Make sure they're in high def. I don't want anything lower than like 1080p. I don't want to sound like a classist or an elitist or anything. It's just a better viewing experience, I think. I got you. Uh, and it also kind of kind of keeps it a little newer because there's been some out there where the thumbnail looks so good, and I'll click on the video to to you know just to test it, and it looks like it's like been rendered through a potato. It's at like yeah. 360, and I'm like, I can't do it. I just I can't. Uh, so um, by by saying, yeah, I want it to be, uh, you know, 1080p at least, it usually, keep, you know, you, you know you're getting a better, a, a good a good film, a good viewing experience for everyone. So um, sorry, I should have had this prepared, but in looking up the 
testing the YouTube stuff being down and all that jazz. I am a little behind tonight. Okay. So the first one we're going to be watching is called The Painting. And it is by a some creators on YouTube under the name Dark Fun. Oh, don't start yet. Dark Fun Horror Short Films. It is approximately six minutes and 23 seconds. All so right. we will get that loaded as always. All these films, as well as the, the creator's links, are in the comments, uh, are in the description of this video. Please make sure we're going over there to you know, like the video, comment on the video over there. Um, make sure, make sure we're showing them some love for uh, for putting these things together because they, you know, a lot of work. They mean a lot. So, uh, Michael, anything you want to throw out before we uh, before we uh, start this one? I have nothing to declare. Nothing to declare. I have nothing to declare. All right, my dude. Well, we will go ahead and get the painting started. Uh, I have no clue what this is about. I know it's filmed in a decent quality. It's six minutes, and it's a horror short film. So, all right, let's do this. As always, everyone in the chat, Michael included, let me know how the sound is. Yes, all. Sounds good to me. Kind of look like Catherine Newton there for a second in that wide angle. <laughs> Bro, that'd be, that'd be such a hard place to film in in terms of sounds. Like, just hard walls everywhere. Yeah, you'd almost have to film it, like, completely silent and just add everything uh, in, in editing. The echo would be ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Well, it... They're not using that much live audio, it doesn't seem like. Just, I mean, you got footsteps and the bag and the mirror, wiping the mirror. Red flag. Red flag. So was that not there before? I think that might have been there when she moved in. Just She's just now discovering it. That's unfortunate. Oh, yep. I'm moving back out. <laughs> As I was to say, uh, I'd like to cancel my lease. Do all that on the phone after <laughs> I was gone. Oh, come on now. Is it still wet? Let's touch it. We'll see what happens. Is it blood? Well, now I got it on my finger. You didn't do what it said. I bet when she comes back, it's going to be hanging up again. Hell no. To the no, no, no. Now it's got another hand. No, nope, I'm out. I, am I, out. I was out before. Like, I, put it back, bitch. I'm out. Like, done. I'm putting it back. I'm going to do I what it says. Say, as you wish. I, I'm, I'm Dread Pirate Roberts with this as you wish. Gone. Hey. Who's now we have reached the point of this it's all on you. I'm not fucking you know? afraid. Let me just Door's lean back in my chair because whatever it's happens like to now her, it's on you. Yeah. No, dude, I'm. She's gonna come back. There's, is there gonna be a face on there too? You know what I mean? Maybe like, she's searching. She's searching because she thinks someone's in the like in the place messing with her. She knows better. Russell saying, "Bye, Felicia." The location they got is awesome, and the camera movements have been really nice too. Like a nice skate. 
here's the thing like if there was somebody in there and you just closed all the doors and locked them didn't you just lock yourself in there with them that, that's the question did you just lock me out or lock me in no there's a, there's a face and a body there it is you should run now This is my house. And I kick you out. Well, that settles that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Everything's fine now. Yeah, you, you should probably just go have a nice relaxing nap. Make yourself some lemonade. Beat up. Oh, Jesus. When will you learn? When will you learn that your actions have consequences? Where? Like now, now my mind is in. Well, now let's see how she dies. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like now, my mind is like, hey, let's look at the camera footage and see what. Is that a footprint behind her? That's a footprint on the wall behind her. You see that? Yeah. Oh, he's out. He's out. He's out, he's out of the painting. He's, he's climbing on the ceiling right now. Like he's Spider Man and the shit out of her. Sing it with me. Hell no. To the no, no, no. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a footprint behind her. It's going to like drop down from the ceiling. That's what I told you. He's going to he's gonna Spider Man her. You know? This is. And now. Why does it look like hooves? Because it's a demon, I guess. You know what I mean? Like that's what I'm thinking. That's that's what that tells me. I could be wrong. That's where the brain's going. Okay. She deserved it. <laughs> this point. Eh. It is what it is. Like sometimes there can be too much to where you're just like, you know what? I've done checked myself out at this point because you deserve every bit of it. <laughs> oh I thought it was in terms of filmmaking, Michael, that's yeah. what we're looking at here. Yeah, it's just, you know. But yeah, it was good, man. It it it, it uh it you know it looked nice. You know what I mean? Like it, it did. But I, I think that in that short amount of time, there were so many red flags crammed into how long was it? Six minutes. Yeah, that was like a red flag every thirty seconds. You know, like I wasn't done talking about the less the less the last red flag before I was talking about the next one. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, oh, and then you're oh god, here we go. You know what I mean? Like it just, yeah, it was good, they, but it just, yeah, I just saw where it was going very early. You know, it yeah, didn't really yeah, have that. Can, I, I get you. I get you with that, with the storytelling in that regard. Like it was, it's, it was, um, what's the word? It, it was, you get, you did know very early. Like I said, it was pretty obvious pretty early what was going to happen. Yeah, I still, I still appreciated it in terms of building suspense. Like the the score was nice, and I saw that Paula actually uh, called out the score as well. They did a pretty good job with the score, I think. Um, technically, you know, in terms of technicals, like camera movements were very nice, very solid. Um, the audio would have been a nightmare in a place like that. Like I said, there was nothing hanging on the walls. It was all solid surfaces. 
solid uh, wooden floors, which means you know, if y'all don't know in terms of filmmaking or recording, you're going to get echoes bouncing off of everywhere. So it's really hard to film in a place like that. Um, I think they did a um, telegraph. That's the word. It was it was telegraphed very early, what the end, like how it was going to end. Um, but uh, but yeah. I, in terms of you know technicals, I think they did a really good job. I would have maybe cut out a little bit of the uh, if you were to if you were to alter this story because you 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 think it was too much. How would you have altered it to make it a little bit better? I wouldn't have started it off well. Like bitch, put it back right there, right there. I know that there's something fucking going on. You know what I mean? I'm hanging it up. I'm putting it back, and I'm walking out the door. Yeah. Credit credits roll. You know what I mean? Like it was too much too soon. And then it was too often. Uh, and, and again, beautifully shot, you know, uh, unique, but very uh, predictable, you know? And I think that that's, that comes with people who have watched a lot of movies. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I, I don't think that it's just, you know, for maybe a casual, it'd be great. Uh, but for someone that, you know, really breaks these down, it's just like I, I can tell you what's going to happen within the first 30 seconds of this movie. You know, yeah. especially when the second hand comes out here, I believe my next comment was what's going to be next to face. And that was, was your that was your comment. And yeah. it was and it was just like, OK, this thing's coming out of here. Uh, it already told her uh, it identified her as being a bitch. You know what I mean? It, it just and, and a bitch that can't follow the follow instructions. It, apparently, it it did that, and it was just it was just a lot at the beginning. Uh, so it kind of it, it kind of gave itself away a little early. You know, I I might have like had her instead of immediately casting suspicion on the painting, maybe call the owner and she's like, "Hey, what's up with this painting? You know, I don't really care for it. This is this." And yeah. then be like, yeah, it was just something that was always there. We never felt like taking it down. We didn't really use that room. And then give it a, give it another like 30, 45 seconds before you take it down. Push the action more toward the, the ending. Yeah. And yeah, maybe maybe skip the third time around because she looks at it, takes it down. Then, you know, you see the bitch put it back. She goes on the, the final girl circuit. Then she comes back. And it's hanging back up with a second hand. She goes on the final girl circuit again. And it's got the, now it's got the face and the body. Then she steps back out and now it's gone. Like it is a little too much. I would have probably had it where she, you know, takes it down. She comes back and it's back up with the second hand. Then, then she comes back and it's already gone. Like skip the two, skip two cycles, you know? You got to think six, a six minute runtime. That was six minutes real time in the movie. Like there was no time. You know what I mean? Like it, it felt like six minutes real time. Like, yeah. like that, that's what really what it felt like. The only thing that I got wrong with it was I figured he was going to be on the ceiling jump scare end, but instead, that's what I thought. but instead it was phone, look up, jump scare. And then, you know, it just you jump know, scare got me a little bit too. Like I, Sarah, Sarah's pointing out. The guy at the end was just a, a man painted black. Like he could have jazzed them up a little. I, I mean something, but I, I didn't even jump because I, I knew, you know what I mean? Like it was just like, yeah, that's about right. I, I figured it was going to come from the ceiling. I, I did as well, but it, this seems like it was a little bit of a low budget feature. And yeah, there's nothing wrong with that, man. I'm not saying that this is a bad film or anything like that. Story wise. Uh, maybe it's you know our own fault for as much as we watch you know and for a we casual person a <laughs> this could be great for them and, and i think they did a great job on everything they tried to do you talked about the filming location it being hard to film and everything they they did good man i didn't see any issues with that i didn't see any issues with quality uh with audio like the visual looked great like so i mean yeah good job all around good job just story wise i just felt like you know i've seen this story before and other other uh uh iterations yeah and, and i i believe in watching horror shorts we're gonna run into that quite a bit oh and, i'm and sure because there's to be honest there's a very limited amount of stories you can tell in general there's even less you can tell in six minutes or in a short yeah. video format so 
Yeah. Uh, overall, I like this. Uh, I like it's definitely not my favorite I've seen. Uh, bro, if I'm being honest, you know what my my favorite so far in terms of the originals that we've that we've watched. What's that? Um, the stalker. Remember the stalker? Oh, where the, where the the girl? Yeah, where the dude's like hiding under the bed, like yeah. he's stalking her, and then you're like, "What the hell's?" Bro, that one really did it for me. That one I, was. Ugh. I honestly, dude, it was one that we watched on your channel that I really enjoyed. Was the 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 guy that just filmed himself for like a conjuring type of uh that one was so good yeah i really like that one like it was that one so well done yeah dude and and, so and i was like and it, when we were watching i was like dude i think he did this by himself he did and then we looked everything up and he did but it just show, goes to show what can be done with a creative mind man like he and a little can do attitude you know like he 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 put it in there man and, and good on him what is going on? It's Lost Legends. What's up, bros? Hope you're doing well. Dropping by for a second to share uh, love from this side. Awesome, man. Thanks for dropping by. And it was awesome having y'all on Michael's stream the other day, celebrating uh, Friday Part Four. That Hell was, yeah, uh, yeah, dude. Just just chatting, and uh, I've seen Braden uh, on YouTube post some stuff from uh, Haddonfield Nightmare. It's exciting, dude. I can't wait for y'all to to get up there and be part of that. Hell and I'm yeah. super excited for that film too because we watched the. We watched this, the first one on my channel a while ago because it was the it's the one that was a direct sequel to H2O. Yes. Um, and yeah, it was awesome. It was awesome. I'm. But uh, yeah, dude, in terms of the shorts, that that one was so good. Technically, it was flawless. It was flawless. Okay. Um, really quick. Uh, Sarah saying of all the original shorts we've watched, I like the one where the girl was playing the switch game. That one was good too. Uh, that one was on my channel, I think, last week or the week before. That one was pretty good as well. All right. Again, that one was littered with red flags too. Like, it was fun though. Like, that one I feel like was more fun. This one was like red flag, red flag, red flag, red flag. Because, and I like the part where she's like, no, nope, nope. She puts her switch down and she gets under the covers. Like, like nope. she's going to nap it out. Like, really? Like, I'm just going to take a nap. It'll be fine when I wake yeah. up. If you ignore the problem, it'll go away. Everyone knows that. You just pretend it's uh, not happening. <laughs> All right, man. This next one is called Knock Knock. It is from the people at ACM Official um, over on YouTube. There is a sequel to this one, which we will be watching directly after this one. Oh. So we'll watch yeah. this one, talk about it, then watch the sequel. All right? Yes, yes. Oh, hold on a second. Let me share this as usual, as always. Make sure to let me know how the audio is. And here we go. Audio sounds good to me. Your flight attendant. Feel like she's a flight attendant. Nope, I'm out already. Done. Who's there? Who's yeah? It's it's Bob. I'm just messing with you. You know. It's just a blackout. You know, they happen in New York. Hey, can you keep it down, please? <laughs> Sarah's like I'm sprinting down the hall. She's calling from Hi, this is One. Kim Smith in room 325. The room next door to me keeps banging on the wall. Is there something you can do about that? I'm sorry, but there's no one checked into the room next to you. You're sure? Do you think you checked the right room? Yes, you're the only one on the third floor. Okay, there's somebody definitely next door. Can you send someone to check, please? Sure thing. I'll send someone now. Sounds like damn ghost face on the freaking phone. Jeez. Do not go investigate. Hello? Is anyone in here? Okay, so she's the person from the hotel. 
investigating things. So they sent her to die. Bounce, man. What's yeah. wrong with you? Anyone there? It's her job, though. For so this one, I kind of understand. Okay. Like, turn, pull out your cell phone and turn the flashlight on. Come on now. <laughs> it's about to make a comment about her boots on the bed, but in this case, I'm like, yes, girl, stay ready. There's Don't no gotta reason. get ready if you stay ready. Oh, fuck no, I'm out. Yeah, go. Fucking leave. Maybe the front desk telling her, hey, it's fine. Hello. Hi. We checked the other room. No one's there. Can I help you with anything else? No. No one in there, huh? The caucasity to go out. And try door just open by itself. You gotta be fucking shitting me. No, like this is hello. You're my favorite turd. I wouldn't shoot you, man. And the lights don't turn on, bro. How many red flags do you need? Hi. You know, it would be a boring movie, but for once, I'd just like to see someone, you know, be like, ah, and you'd be like, nope. I'm in the and room next door. Can you please stop banging up. on the wall? I'd be like, that was a damn honest movie right there. It was short. It was short, but it to was good. The, to the point, and I respect it. Oh, you're shitting me, dude. Look at that. You, no. Run. <laughs> Run. Too late now. Now she's the one knocking on the wall. All right, I'm gonna un I'm gonna unshare that for now, and let's. And this has a part two. This has a part two. Yeah. Well. Um. <laughs> Ruh row raggy. Mm. It's it's uh. How many red flags you do you think you get in a movie? In a five minute movie? <laughs> <laughs> or well, yeah, yeah, let's, say, let's say between a five to ten minute movie. How many red flags you get before you're you're, you're checked out? You're like, it's on you. So here's the thing: it, it's it's the amount of time per red flag. So I guess that that you know, if you have three red flags. And we're like a minute and a half in. It's like you're averaging a red flag every 30 seconds at this point. And it's just like I've checked out because I'm looking at the runtime. We've been in here for a minute and 30. And I would have left already. Um, I would have been done. This one wasn't as bad red flag wise as the first one. Uh, as far as uh, the amount. And at least there was a change of scenery between one room and the other and two different people. Mm -hmm. uh, but still. Like, you know, you walk into the room, you hear the demon voice. You know what I mean? I, I'm I'm done at that I think point. They could have left that out of the so when they had the the, the lights flicker, yeah. If they would have left the demon voice out of that, I think that would have been a perfect beige flag, right? Because it's kind of creepy, yes, but also very easily explained. Because, you know, lots of places have, like, rolling blackouts and stuff like that. Yeah. I'll tell you what I did appreciate about it. I always dig those, like, running at you type endings. You know what I mean? Love like that's those. It's, it, of course, she was, like, grudging it on the floor first. Looked like Samara walking out of the well. You know, I'd have probably at least turned around and ran the other way. Uh, but 
you know, I'd have met her halfway throwing throwing elbows, bro. <laughs> that's what I want. That's the ending I want to see. He's like, oh, you want to do this? Like putting her hair up and like she just runs right back at her, just starts sort of throwing hands. Samara only has one weakness, dude, and that's Quagmire. Have you ever <laughs> seen the <laughs> Family Guy episode? <laughs> <laughs> I am sure of it. You know, I am a hundred percent sure of it that Samara only has one weakness, and that's Quagmire. So, uh, so Sarah's saying the scream is what would have made me leave. Realistic, someone could have broken into the room as being, yeah, yeah. See, that's the thing. Like, I do appreciate the the somewhat common sense of the character because she's like, hey, there's someone banging. Could you like check it out? Like, and what? What got me though is don't go over there and check. You heard someone scream right before he called you. Like when, when he said, Oh, yeah, we checked it. There's no one there. Bitch, I just heard someone screaming in that room. I'm, dude, I'm not even there at that point. I have walked down to the front desk. Like, look, there's somebody screaming up there. Like, you cannot tell me nine times out of 10, they're probably going to be like, oh, we didn't call you back. We haven't called you back yet. To me, that's like some 1408 shit happened right there. Oh, you know? yeah. So, no, like, there's no way. Yeah, yeah. But uh, And then what... go over there and the door opens for you? Like, no. Come on, Without bro. a key card? Yeah. Come on. No. 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 What's, what's mm -mm. the best case scenario? You personally know someone is knocking on that wall. Best case scenario? You're running into someone who's not supposed to be there and it's probably not going to be happy you walked in on them. Yeah. Not. Worst case scenario, you get, you know, freaking Samara wannabe grudging it up on the floor about to eat your soul. Yeah. Oh, my Looks, God. I just say it's sweet chin music. Oh, uh, yeah. I, yeah. Uh, Sarah, say I forgot about the demon voice. That's the only thing I would have changed about the opening. I would have changed that and then it would have there would have been a gradual build up like like in reference to the first one the immediate taking down of the of the painting and seeing put it back bitch you jump immediately too far into the action yeah. or too far into the into it like there was no ramp up or no build up it was just like from fucking 0 to 11 yeah uh this one you know there was the there was the rolling blackout with a little bit of whisper and you're like what? And yeah. then, you, then you got the, the knock and it built up. Yeah. You take some of that stuff out of there. I think it would have been a little better. Russell's saying she could have been talking to the yellow eyed demon from Supernatural. Dude, you are not lying. Like, I do not feel like that was the front desk that called her back because it was literally a second after the scream. You know, you get the scream, phone rings. So, well, I, I don't think it was. <laughs> I'm not. I, I I was coordinating or or associating it with the front desk getting off the phone with the other girl because the girl did call the front desk. Hey, there's no one here, and he said I'll let her know. So it's, my thought is initially or immediately he's going to hang up, then call her back. Mm. So and that's what happened. It just happened between then. Old girl got taken out. She's now you know doing that thing that Reagan McNeil talked about in the first uh, first. Uh, Exorcist movie down in hell, you know? Yeah. Um, but I thought this one was better. That one was better, I think, than the first one. Not not compete, you know, trying to compare them or anything, but I, I did I did enjoy that one more. Um Lost Legends, what hotel was that? Yeah, I was about to bring it up. Speaking of hotel, the story fits. Last year at Scarefest, we walked to a hotel to book, and there was a lady complaining about bloodstains on her bed. We walked out, roadrunners people. Bro, definitely let me know what hotel that was because that's the hotel I'm not going to be. Actually, you know, I never say a hotel anyways. I'm usually like a car camper kind of kind of guy. But, yeah, that was uh need to avoid that. All right. So we will be watching Knock Knock Part 2. Now it is six minutes as well. Uh, I'm I'm excited to see where the story goes from here. I'm thinking maybe a psycho situation, like maybe a family member shows up to like look for their sister or something. I don't know. I'm I'm curious to where they started. Yeah. I'm, well, from the looks of the when I clicked on it, there it's it's starting in an elevator. So uh, oh, wow. here we go. Uh, as always, let me know about the uh, about the audio. And here we go. <laughs>
Kevin? Oh, wait, is this still in the same room? I have no idea. Sorry I couldn't be there. I'll make it up to you. Hugs and kisses, Kevin. Bro, look at the lock up top of the door. She doesn't even have that thing locked. Gone, dude. I'm gone. Right there. That's it. Yeah. Reminds me of freaking the beginning of The Conjuring when they were doing that whole Annabelle thing. You know, when the little <laughs> note was hey, out babe. there that said, miss hey, me. Sorry, I couldn't be there. That's okay. I know you would if you could. Did you get the chocolate and flowers? Kevin, this is the last time we will be speaking. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm about to die. I love you. Kristen. Kristen. Oh, sorry. Is everything all right? No. No, I, no. Uh, someone keeps knocking from outside my room. Did you call the front desk? Not yet. You should call. Great. Yeah, that's not a good sign. Yes, hello. Um, this is Kristen Lewis in room 227. Whoever's in the room above me keeps banging on the floor. You said the room above you? Yes. There's only three floors. Hello? Miss, there's no one checked into that room. Oh. Please keep your door locked and stay inside. I will send someone to check on this immediately. Hello? Clo Lock hello. the door. Lock it. See, Take I like how that guy was like, hey, lock the door, stay inside. We're going to check on it. And first of all, I think whoever said that is wants her to stay in that hey, room. Where are you? I'm on lunch. I got a complaint about noises coming from room 327 again. I see he's, he's calling security. Yeah. Yeah, I'll look into it. After lunch. Did you ever lock the door? That's it. That's what I'm talking about. Hmm. Oh, you're going over to the room. I thought you were going down to the front desk. No, no, <laughs> do not go in. Do not. Go. <laughs> what are you coughing out? Um, I'm staying in the room below you. Hello? Sarah's saying... Is anyone in here? The other girl was in 325, so the thing is in 327, and she's below in 227. She's probably hearing the other girl dying. Oh, that's a good that's a good catch. Hello? Where's the grudge kid at again? Uh, nope. Why are you still in this room? <laughs> Turn the light on. Nope. Call electrician. It's like, I'm not going in there to you. Bro, come on. These people. Shouldn't security. There, yeah, I was about to say. Shouldn't okay, I was about to say. At least pull a flashlight out. Security. If someone's in here, come out now. We're going to get a grudge again. We got to get, get like a grudge. What? We got to get a grudge. I'll be disappointed if we don't. What if we get like three of them? They all pop up. Because now there should be three. Oh. He 
he said, oh, because the music stopped. Hmm. There's no one here. I want to head back. He's going to turn around and die. Oh, shit. No. Nope. <laughs> and you're dead. I like these. I like the second one better than the first one. Yeah, yeah. I I, I thought they were both pretty good. Um, yeah, I I didn't you know I, I didn't hate either of those. Uh, what is your thoughts on the second one? Uh, the second one was was uh, I think that the the pacing of things was a little better. Uh, I like it. It well, first of all. Here, here's the only thing, and I understand you have to progress the story, you have to do all those things, but never in my history of ever being in hotels have I heard something next door and thought I should go over and investigate myself. No, no, like, no, not at it's all. Someone's temporary living quarters, like, yeah, you don't, you're not going to go in there. No, um, so you know, that that part of it's kind of you know far fetched for me, but. The way the second one did it was, you know, calling security and security actually showing up and uh, it being a security person. You know, uh, we didn't really get a grudge person, but we got the the neck. Yeah, I felt like that was more of like an evil dead. A little bit, a little yeah. bit, but I, I enjoyed it. So at the end of the day, it's over. I had fun watching it. I'm glad I watched it and they did a good job with it. Yeah. Yeah. In, in six minutes, I think they made a damn good short. Uh Obviously, building on the the story they established previously, the um, the the connection that Sarah made that's an awesome catch. I I wouldn't have put that together, wouldn't have put that together. But I think that does work because um, it did look like the same room. But then again, it's a hotel, so most probably all the rooms look the same. Right. Um. Uh. I did see someone say something about the elevator is a red flag. Yeah, Russell said that early on. And then and then. Clayton said, yeah, I would have just stayed in the elevator. Like, was there something about the elevator that I missed? Or I wouldn't have stayed in the elevator. Remember that horror short, the elevator? Yeah, I, I yeah that, was, that was another one that, yeah. Uh, anyways, technically, these were very well done. Like, audio was crisp. Uh, video was, you know, resolution was always great. The camera angles were pretty solid. I didn't feel like there was any unnecessary shaky cam. Yeah. Anything like that. <laughs> Melissa's asking if I'm a security guard. No, no, I am not a security guard. I was in security when I was uh, on my deployment on the Eisenhower. I did uh, staff duty once a month, so that's technically security, but no. Well, that's we call it. It's called shift company, and essentially, like every every department on the on the ship has to supply people to work for something that is not their department, but it benefits the ship. Most likely, you're going to get working in the mess hall, you know, cool. but but I didn't do that. Instead, I went to security. So uh, although I did and I'm going to date myself here with this uh, statement here, um, I did do a security shift for a week uh, at Tripler Hospital in Hawaii uh, right after 9-11. Uh, so that's that's about the limitations of my uh, security uh, career. So no. No security for me. Um, I can tell you this. Uh, if I was security, I was not. The light doesn't work. I'm not going in. Because you know it's got electricity. Call the maintenance. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, you know what? We're going to need maintenance up here first. Once they get it taken care of, done. Uh, DJ Play Favors. What's going on? Thanks for jumping in, man. Each room in a hotel almost looks the same unless it's a sweeter handicap room in a hotel. Yeah, I was that came to me afterwards. I, I made the realizations like, yeah, it looks like the same room. No shit, Sherlock. It's the same hotel. <laughs> um, that room looks the same as 327. Oh so, my yeah, god, I'm pretty sure they all probably look the same. 
Oh, I'm funny. the ghost. I'm I'm hunting the or I'm haunting the uh, the the sweets. That's where I'm gonna be at. I'm gonna haunt in luxury. Yeah, yeah. You know, and those are the people most likely that just you know they probably deserve the haunting more than like the, the <laughs> standard you know two bedroom or, or two two bed uh, rooms. If that makes sense. Right. Uh, yeah, uh, man, I like those. Uh, we got one more for tonight, uh, and then we're gonna have to wrap it up. Uh, okay. This next one is called Larry. It's simply called Larry. Uh, it's by a creator by the name of Jacob Chase, as always. Um, Sarah has been very good about throwing the links in there as well. That's the link for the original video. Uh, you can check that out. Uh, please do check it out over there when we're done here. Give them a, you know, give them a like, drop a comment on there. Um, I have, and I, I think you guys have been doing this because I've had a couple creators reach out to me after the fact, like, hey, thanks for reviewing. Uh, Blinky 500 did, uh, I think last week or the week before, uh, reached out and uh, actually gave some clarifying information on the uh, the Halloween ones we watched and how, like, the timelines and stuff like that. So awesome. th that's super cool. So, yeah, just make sure to, uh, you know, go over on the original creator's uh, video and drop a like, drop some comments over there so we can give them their Give them their flowers for making these. We're just here enjoying their work and, uh, you know, give them a little critique and some comments on it. Uh, oh, yeah. That said, let's uh, let's jump into Larry. I have no clue what it's going to be about, if I'm being honest. As honestly, I haven't with any of these. It's just like. It's going to hey, be about Larry. It's going to live in like Larry. <laughs> <laughs> SpongeBob Square, square Pants. Uh, all right, y'all. Make sure to let me know about the uh, audio. It's only five minutes, but we'll, we'll see do how, it. See how good it is. And here we go. <laughs> oh, it's a great shot. Oh, that rack focus too. That was awesome. I'm still eerie about that one we watched with the guy in the box with boxes. That dude was weird, right? Yeah. You're going to see his head down there. The misunderstood monster. This is. Oh, oh no. Larry. It's not looking good, man. Larry just wants a friend. Put the iPad away. <laughs> nope. No. Hell no. Is that? You see it? Yeah. Oh, nope. Done. <laughs> Call the cops. Right it's going to be gone now. Oh, no. Fuck no. Hell no, 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 hell no. Don't, don't continue reading. He saw that shit out there moving and he's, he's like, yeah, it'll be fine. I think it's going to get closer and closer. Larry lives behind a window. Well, wow, Larry's in his window. You can see through the glass. Larry's friend. Let Larry kill me. Sarah. He's boned. Oh, yeah. He's going to die. Oh, open it. Dude. No. If whatever they got making those effects is great. Who's how fast is Larry? Because I might just take off. Yes, yeah, about to say. I'm not gonna oh. look. I'm not gonna look at the tablet. Are you gonna anymore. take a photo? 
I was going to zoom in and see what he's looking at. Is Larry going to be like right in his face when he? I think he's going to remove that tablet and Larry's going to all of a sudden magically be there. Where Larry's going to turn and sprint. Nope. Bro. What are you doing? Close the window. Why why you why didn't you oh, what what? Jesus, Sari. <gasps> left the window open. Oh, I don't think he can come in the light. Well, he can obviously turn it off when he wants to, so I mean that's Clayton kind of said, neat. hopefully Larry's not an asshole. If he can turn the light off when he wants, that's not really going to... Well, that was a skedaddle. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going with you guys. I don't know you. Hey, hey, you you need some company? Please, please don't leave me alone right now. Or maybe Larry's going to eat them. Seriously. I mean, I hate to be this guy if Larry's focused on them. Well, they're getting in their car and they're leaving. You're alone. That's it. I got a headlight out, Close the god dang windows. I don't think it's going to do much, but it's going to give me peace of mind, you know? Right. That got dude. That got me. Wasn't ready for it. Really? I was thinking he was gonna turn his head, and Larry was gonna be right outside the window again. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It was good. It was good. What, thoughts? Any, any thoughts beyond that? Uh, I I think that you know, like, other than you know, there. You're not going to take off. You know what I mean? It is your your job. You're sitting there. But, I mean, I I honestly probably would have put the tablet down a long time ago uh, and not – I see him out there. You know, I'm not going to be like, let me look at the tablet again. You know what I mean? Like, dude, that's – I'm leaving. Like, <laughs> you see that thing clicking around out there? I'm probably leaving with those two people that walk by. Like, no, we got to go. I'm at least warning them, hey, there's some creature out there. Maybe y'all want to, like, skedaddle to your car. Um, You know the most unrealistic part of that to me? Hmm. That there was a charged, unlocked iPad in the Lost and Found. Who doesn't have a lock on their iPad? Like, come on now. (laughs) That thing's cloud-connected, all your photos. Larry wanted him to read it. Yeah, Yeah, I guess. Um... Sarah, Sarah saying, I don't know if the kids are saying yeet anymore, but I'm yeeting that tablet. <laughs> yeah. Um, so story-wise, pretty solid, I think. Like, pretty clever way to, to like, son of a bitch. Pretty clever way to, to introduce the mythology of Kevin, or Larry, sorry, not, not Kevin, Larry. Sorry, I just kind of got tripped the fuck out. There's a highway, like, not too far from me over there, and sometimes when trucks will drive on, like, the uh, the ridged section, you know, on the on the side, it makes, like, a a sound that sounded suspiciously, suspiciously like Larry, and I'm like, <laughs> fuck? <laughs> um, it was a clever way with the iPad to introduce Larry. Whatever they did to like make the shape of Larry, I, it was subtle, but it was really cool. I think. Like, oh yeah, 
But like, the design of Larry was really cool too. Yeah, and they they didn't have to really show you anything but a shadow. Yeah. Um. So that was that was clever. Very good use of filmmaking because it you know doesn't take that much to do that. Um. You know we're in a single location. <clears throat> the lighting of the car, like the one lone car that was there, mm-hmm. really awesome. Being parked oh, yeah. under that one light. Everything else completely dark. Um, Shot very well. Yeah, yeah. Technically, it was it was very, very, very well done. I really enjoyed it. Uh, Sarah saying the rumble strips. Yeah, the rumble strips. Uh, Russell is saying the movie is based off this horror short called "Come Play" and Larry is the demon. Oh, interesting. I'll have to maybe check that out. Uh, yeah. Damn. What's happening? I am fucking tired as hell, y'all. Not even gonna lie right now. Uh yeah, dude. I, I enjoyed it. I, I, I thought most of these were solid tonight. I would if I had to rank them in terms of order, I think I'd probably go knock knock two, Larry, knock knock one, then the painting. So that was your one through four? Yeah, my 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 favorite of the evening was <laughs> Knock Knock Two. Yeah, same, then, same ranking. Then, yeah, yeah, then I Larry, understand. then Knock Knock One, then uh, then the, the painting. Uh, in terms of technically, though, I think all four of them were extremely well done. Oh yeah, they were all shot very well, very very well. Um, yeah, just just some solid short fan films. It's some or short films. The thing about it is, man. Creating a story you can tell, an original story you can tell in six minutes is not as easy as as you would originally think. Like, Oh, no, it's not easy at all. So, yeah, it's just I, I commend them on doing it because all of them, you know, no matter how we felt about the story, the predictability and everything like that, they, they did successfully tell a story in that six to, you know, eight minutes. Yeah, definitely. That they they allotted themselves, which is which is awesome. It's an awesome I, accomplishment. I think all of these shorts were successful. You know what I mean? You get sure a lot of things get predictable and stuff. And like I, you know, I'll go back to what I was saying before. You know, we watch a lot of damn movies. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's so you know standard for you know a casual you know movie watcher. You know they're not going to know all this. You know all the stuff, all the ins and outs, like. You know, this is coming. This is coming, you know, just based off of previous things that you've seen. Um, But, yeah, each one of these was successful in its own right. uh, And they were all good. Yeah, man, I I really enjoyed uh, all of them. Yeah, I'm trying to. Yeah, I'm trying to trying to think if there is any any technical things I can even bring up, because honestly, like technically they were all on point. Yeah. And I mean, the things that weren't were obvious budget stuff. You yeah, know what I mean, like if you look at the guy painted black in the original, you know, the first one that we watched, uh, and then you look at, you know, the the CGI of Larry at the end, they, it was, you know, it's not due to, you know, uh, uh, creativity, lack, lack of creativity, uh, more of budget, you know, restraints yeah. and stuff like that. So, yeah, man, I think they did a good job with all these. Yeah, because if you, if you think about, you know, there's a there's a generalized amount of money that they say it costs to make a movie. And the general amount is between seven hundred and fifty to, I think it's like uh, twelve hundred dollars per minute of film. So if you think it's six hundred, you know, six minute movie, if you're following that logic and following that like generalized calculator, then that's going to be. I'm not I'm not even going to try to do that with my with my brain. Uh, let's go on the low end, seven fifty times six. That's gonna be about forty five hundred dollars for that, that six minute movie, yeah. and that's that's you know, if you're thinking if you're talking you renting a camera for a day or a weekend and renting lenses or renting equipment, paying actors, like that's that's low forty five hundred dollars. Now of course I'm I'm betting a lot of these people, you know you 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 get friends to work in your stuff. You put out like. On on the casting groups in your local area, stuff like that. There's a lot of people who uh, there's a lot of people in most areas, at least in most bigger cities, 
uh, that are willing to to work for experience and to and to like build resumes and stuff like that. But these all seem like professional people, like the the filming, you know, the ca- actual like camera work, cinematography seems like it was uh, professionally done, especially Larry. There was that thing there and I, I mentioned it right at the front, that rack focus where the camera is focused on the car mm-hmm. and then the dude looks at his watch. But the camera without moving just changes the focus. And now it's focused on the watch. I thought that was a beautiful shot. That's not very easy to do. Yeah. Um, so that was a really cool shot. But yeah, everything seemed professionally done. I, I just I really enjoyed it, man. Yeah, I really too. enjoyed these. Um, we're probably gonna wrap it up here. I unfortunately do have work tonight, which God, I don't want to go to. If I'm being honest, <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't slept today at all. So, Eesh. uh, yeah, man. Um, before we uh. Before we get out of here while we're wrapping up you got anything on your channel you want to want to plug uh i'll just see you guys at 9 p.m on friday for paranormal friday paranormal fridays yes um awesome dude and then uh there also is no monday stream this coming monday right um, yeah there's no uh on movies and beyond there's no sunday no monday this week Okay, and then there's also no Sunday for me this week. There's no Sunday silly stream. Uh, so yeah, you'll see Michael this Friday. You'll see me again next Tuesday. Uh, other than that, I mean, I, I do have pre-recorded videos. I swear, 1999 is going to come out for my life in horror. Also, um, also podcast episode 10 is going to be coming out on Silver Screen Banter. If you haven't subscribed, go check that out. Um, Man, anything else? Uh, just for my Patreon members, if you're a Patreon member of Movies and Beyond and you are here, Stranger Things Season 2, Episode 2 will be dropping Thursday on Patreon. Trying to pace with that because I want to try to end Season 4 right when Season 5 comes out. So we can jump you know, when, right into When does it, Season you know, 5 come out? Next year. Uh, so I did Jeez. the whole first season. Took mm-hmm. a few month break before I started the second season. I'm spacing out the episodes. Uh, so on how many episodes per season? Uh, roughly around ten. Um, when you get to the late episode, like the latest season, it was only like six, I believe. Uh, maybe it's eight, but either way, uh, the episodes for last season were like an hour and a half. Like they were long. So season two has nine episodes. Yeah, season three has eight. Season four has nine. So, mm. oh, that's right, because it came in two two parts. Yeah, it was two parts. Yeah, that's right. okay. So I'm trying to think here. Yeah, I'll figure it out when I figure it out. Oh, I, I like I like doing this kind of thing. When did so when does season five come out? Like next year? Do you know? Do they do they have a date? They're filming right now. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, and they're filming in Georgia. That's not too far from me. They're filming in Atlanta about four hours away. Yeah. Um, but I get you. Spacing it out. So, you know, if you do like one every two weeks, you, you'll you be very safe. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Well, well, if you got nine, eight, and nine, that's roughly 26. You've already put two episodes out. Well, so no, I've done it... a whole season and two episodes. Well, I'm only, yeah, nine, nine, eight, and nine. That's just seasons two, three, and four. You're already on two. So that would be 26, but you take away the two from season two. You've already done. So it makes it 24. If you do one every two weeks, that's 48 months. That's almost a full year right there. Yeah. Well, we'll see when it comes out. Yeah. When yeah. When it comes out. Yeah. I got to pick, man, I got to pick up Chucky <coughs> season two. How did you feel about Chucky season one? Did you finish it? No. <laughs> I I finished it for Patreon, which, by the way, if you're not a member of my Patreon, um, uh, I do have the, the reaction to the first season of Chucky up there. I, I'm going to be honest, dude. The, the, the finale of that show pissed me off so much <laughs> because it's literally saying it's literally Chucky saying, and what happened to this? And what happened about this? Oh, and what about this? Show up next season to find out. I'm like, fuck you. Like, that pisses me off to no end. When when a show does not give you an ending, they just in turn say, you got to come back to, to finish it. Yeah. 
I hate that, bro. I absolutely hate that. But now I have to get into season two. Uh, so, so yeah, I, Every, I everything's a cliffhanger. I, I hate it. That's one thing I will commend Scream on. Every movie is self-contained. Like the ending is a, you know, it ends. That's it. With that, though, we are going to wrap up. Thanks so much for uh, sticking around all the way to the end. If you're still here listening to us rant, uh, uh, well, yeah. With that, I'll probably uh, we're probably going to wrap up here. Uh, I love you all. Have a, a great, safe week, everyone. Peace. Oh, I hate goodbyes. <laughs>